piece all this shit up and put the spindle back on. the grease nice and evenly. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Just grease it. Just grease it. There. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Don't get that grease shit in there, man. It's important. Even on the back hub there where the seal makes the connection, get her all good. Now you use your rag. <laughs> that shit's nasty. Got the other bearing already in here and didn't come out when I pulled the saw. <clears throat> the front bearing and the front washer has a slot in it for putting on here. The best part about all this is it only has to be finger tight. Mm-hmm. And they're more than that, you burn out bearings. Right. This cap kind of tells you whether or not you've gone too far with it, too. Mm-hmm. Because it only lines up if you've got it right in the right spot. Right. That's one thing that's another nice part about that. I was mentioning earlier on the video that uh, if I had to watch Dave's farm before I did the other side, that I would have known about the hub coming off this, this way, way instead of having the hammer on it for an hour going, come on! Yeah, true, true, true. <clears throat> there was a previous owner that came over and told me how it actually had to be done. He said that he went through the same thing, was out in his backyard, pounding away on his damn hub. And this mechanic friend of his walked by and said, what are you doing? He says, oh, I'm trying to get this hub off so I can uh, change the rear brakes. He says, well, you got to pop that thing off and get the bolt out. He says, what the fuck are you talking about? Sure should, he was right. <laughs> okay, she spins good now. Uh, that guy like that, you gotta put the hub back on. Dust cover. D yeah, dust cover. Now we'll make a brake line. What I want to do here basically is I want to be able to kind of eyeball this and see what I need for length. Get into some custom job here. Right there. Make it. Yep. <clears throat> awesome. Oh yeah, no problem. That's awesome. used to flange out a piece of tubing. You have to have one that has multiple sizes and then this is a flanging tool. What you gotta do first of all is loosen these little clamps up enough to where you can get your tube in there. I guess to make where it needs to be it'll hang on to it. This tool here. You're way too high up. Okay. I guess I am either. Way high. Okay, well, <coughs> go ahead. Right. 
I got the line all done here. Uh, new line connected there. And new line connected here. Um, right now I'm ready to do the braking. Hey! Vinny! Brakes can be bled by yourself. But it's a lot easier to do it with two people. So I have to get away from the club. Yeah. Check the fluid. Check the fluid. Say we're looking excellent. I'll go up again. Go ahead. Okay. Get fluid yet or get air or what? We're golden. Awesome. Yep. Good. Y'all off? Yep. the car up, see if the brake light goes off. Huh? Brake light's off? Alright, good. Gas light's on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I seen the gas light was on too. <laughs> little bottle of fluid is over here too yet if you want to put that in the shop. Yep. Things to always remember that I haven't seen Dave say anything about. Here, would you? Ah, oh, it's recording. Screen. Um, always make sure to put your tools back. That way you know where to find them the next time you need them. It's always important. Can you do this? 